guys, this is Justin with Johnson Vlogs. Uh, today I'm taking my wife's van over to my father-in-law's shop to uh, replace the AC pulley and the electronics and everything for that. And uh, I just figured it'd be a good video to show y'all uh, how to do it and everything. Uh, went and picked up uh, a couple things of tools that we're gonna need and I'll show you those once we get to the shop. Um, it is a 2007 Honda Odyssey. So, like, pretty much the air, it was working one day uh, perfectly fine, and um, just out of nowhere, it just completely quit and started blowing hot air. So, pretty positive this is what's wrong with it. So, I ordered the uh, clutch and magneto and electronics and everything off of Amazon for uh, 70 bucks. So, pretty cheap through Advanced Auto. It was, I think it was about $280. So, heck of a difference um and then today i went to AutoZone and got some uh just the tools that we're gonna need which is a ac clutch pulley puller and uh just some a little clamp remover tools uh, a lot of people if they work on vehicles they probably already have some of these tools i uh, just figured i'd pick it up and make the job easier you could probably go ahead and order those on amazon if you need to do it too uh, I think I found the clutch pulley remover thing on there for um, 20 bucks. I, I paid 40, so but I needed to have it today so I can go ahead and get this fixed. So um, I'll show you guys what all we'll need to do once we get to the shop. Hey, what's going on, guys? So we're at the shop. I uh, had to pull a tractor forward so I could get at least half the van in here. Um, so. We're gonna to wanna to take off this front wheel right here, so you're gonna to wanna to jack and uh, jack stand just to be safe and everything. Um, here's the, uh, this is the AC clutch pulley puller right here. And then I just got the, these, uh, this little snap ring in there that you gotta take out, so that's that. And this is all things so This is supposed to be everything right here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and check this up and get this tire off. All right, guys, so we got the tire off. So, looks like all we need to do is get a flathead so we can read the plastics in here. So, we'll go ahead and get that done. All right, so we got all the, pretty much all the bolts out, uh, little plastic clamps off and everything, just so we can get in there. Um, so, now, it's looking like let me turn my flash, you can't really see it. Flashlight on now, so it's looking like another 10 mil. Okay, so that was a 10 millimeter bolt right in here that you had to take out to get the plastic off. And there was a couple of Phillip head screws in there too. But mostly just a little, little push-in clamps that you take out with a flathead. So 10 millimeter bolt right there we're gonna take out and then the magneto and everything should come off. All right, so I got the 10 millimeter bolt out. Um, might seem silly, but when you're unloosing this, the magneto will spin with the bolt, so it's kind of hard to get out. So I took this older style oil filter wrench and put it on there, tightened it up, and was able to get the bolt out. So uh, they do make a tool for that, so you may to get that too okay guys so the next step was to take the belt off so you need a 17 millimeter and breaker bar you're gonna pull down like this it's gonna loosen loosen the tension on the belt and you can slide it off right here off this and it comes right off it's uh actually a little tricky to get it on the gotta get this pulled down it takes a lot of uh strength to be able to do so but now we're ready to be able to get the pull the lead off and everything all right so to get the back needle off i used two flat heads and some pv blaster and i just put a flat head down here and flat head up here and was able to pry that off there so here's that washer it goes in between the magneto and your gear here. So now we gotta read this little clip ring. There's a little 
clip ring in there and then we can use a pulley puller and get this off. The clutch looks pretty bad today. So. Alright, so I finally got the clip off here and I don't know why it was a pain in the ass. I uh, ended up prying it on it with a flathead and actually broke the chipped off some little pieces where the clip goes behind on the uh, clutch but don't really matter we're gonna change it out anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get that pulled off there now all right so before I finish pulling it all the way off it's almost there um just want to show you how I had to put the uh pulley puller on there this honestly ain't too easy of a job but I mean I honestly hate working on vehicles so if you enjoy working on vehicles, this wouldn't be too bad for you. <laughs> Alright, so just to let y'all know, um, I wouldn't buy this blue puller. It ain't really worth a shit. Um, it's too hard to get in there, it's too big. But I found a pry bar and I stuck it down there behind it and just wiggle it back and forth. And I think it's about to come off, so. Accidentally broke this little piece of the compressor that holds its snap ring on, but over half of it's still there, so I say it'll be all right. All right, so now we'll unplug this wire up here and get the get this the rest of this off. All right, so we finally got the electronics off there, so 
how it's time to put it all back together. All right, guys, so last night uh, my phone died while I was continuing to put everything back together. <clears throat> um, I had to put in, uh, so you put on the plate, put in the clip, you know, just put it back together exactly like you took it off. Um, it was a complete pain in the tail to do. Um, I probably won't ever do another one. Um, but uh, I hate working on vehicles, so I'm more of working on dirt bikes kind of guy. But uh, AC's working great now, so uh, that was the problem. It's good to go now, so whatever. Uh, hope this helped y'all. Um, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.